I am about to share five hair mistakes with you that are currently making you look older. Yes, they are aging you faster. But if you're new to the channel, you might be going, who is this guy and why is he talking to me about hair mistakes? That's fair. My name is Justin Hickox. I've been a licensed hairstylist since 1995 and I've owned my own salon since 2000. And today I'm gonna to share with you five tips that nobody talks about, things that I've learned over those decades behind the chair that are very simple to fix and make a huge impact. So I'm really excited to share this with you, but before we dive in, I do wanna say a big thank you to City Beauty for sponsoring this video. We'll talk more about them in a little bit. Now, before we dive into the specific mistakes, I know older is a very sensitive word for many folks, and so you need to understand that when I'm talking about looking older, we're not trying to look young. I don't wanna look like I'm 25, right? But I do wanna look the absolute best that I can at whatever age that I'm at. And that is exactly what I wanna share with you. These particular tips are going to help you do exactly that and therefore be your most confident self. And that is the goal. Does that make sense? Okay, if it does make sense, why don't we dive into mistake number one. Number one is growing your hair long without shaping it for the length. And over the past few years, there's been a huge shift into longer hair. And I believe in many cases, this is a result of the lockdown and people kind of being forced into getting extra length. Problem is, these situations weren't born from a desire to grow your hair into a certain longer shape. So therefore, in many cases, it wasn't a goal, it was just extra length. The problem here is that this results in having length but not necessarily a good shape. What we wanna do is focus on a shape, many times created by layering, either in the back or in front or in both, potentially even having some sort of bang. This will ensure that the volume is where it needs to be to help accentuate the things about your face shape that we wanna accentuate, helping you to look more youthful. Most importantly, this will ensure that you are wearing your hair instead of your hair wearing you. Number two is going into the wrong pixie haircut. Yes, so that is another thing I think that's been happening this year is that there's been a huge push towards going into short hair. Now, I think some of this is probably being pushed by the pixie haircut, and if you don't know what that is, I've actually done an entire video on that that you can watch right here, but it's essentially a cross between a bob and a pixie. But either way, it's very important to understand your face shape and your hair texture to ensure that, well, you get the best pixie shape for you, as well as you kind of need to know what to stay away from. So simply finding a picture of a pixie that you like, then going in and telling your stylist that I want this cut could be a full on disaster. So the best thing you want to do is you kind of want to have these three questions answered before you go to the salon. You want to know what do you like and dislike about your face. If you notice there, I didn't say what's your face shape because there are so many nuances to that that realistically allowing your stylist and yourself to together determine what you like and what you dislike about your face and then what your face shape is and it's a much safer way to approach it. Now two, is there anything that you're currently struggling with when it comes to your hair? For instance, things like thinning or large textural changes or growth patterns, all of these things can affect what pixie shape might work best for you. And then we need to know three is what's too short? Once you have those answers, you take photos of things about pixies that you like and things that you don't like. You take all of that information together, you go to your stylist, and then the two of you can decide what makes the most sense and what pixie is the best for you. This is gonna ensure that not only does it function better for you, but it also works with your face shape. So it's accentuating those things about your face shape that you like, and it's hiding or drawing attention away from those face shape things that you don't like to help you look the most youthful. Okay, one other thing that makes us all age a little bit faster is simply skincare, or in, in, my, <laughs> in my case, lack of skincare. <laughs> However, my wife is uh, getting much better about it and pushing me to do the same. So uh, recently we've been big fans of City Beauty. We've been using their products and today we've got three more that we wanna share with you. Okay, so our first one is the Dermal Reset Exfoliating Concentrate. What you do is just put a couple pumps, a little bit goes a long way, and then kind of just pat it all around. The Dermal Reset Exfoliating Concentrate helps to resurface skin for a younger look and feel. Now, this is a fantastic solution for rough, patchy skin, fine lines and wrinkles, dullness, or discoloration. It feels smooth. Skincare it is looks important. less dry, but it doesn't feel it doesn't look greasy or feel you look greasy. Kind of good, honey. How you doing? Okay, next. What do you got next? The next one is multi-action sculpting cream. So this is the moisturizer. Okay. This is what I finish with. So what you do, you just take a little bit like this, I put it on here. I learned this actually from Queer Eye from Str Queer Eye. 
You put it on your hands first, and then you put it on your skin. Okay, so let me try that. Yes. And right there. Because if you do it like I used to do it, where you put it in your hands and you rub it, then you're actually moisturizing your hands, and you're, yeah. you're not getting the product where it needs to go. I put it on my neck because my neck gets dry and crepey. And I do my décolleté. Then you get a rub it in. And the multi-action sculpting cream is fantastic for loose skin or sagging skin or the fine lines and wrinkles. Gives it a tight, smooth finish. Visibly smooths wrinkles and fine lines, restores the skin's elasticity, and promotes healthy levels of collagen and elastin. Now I do feel moisturized. You glow, right? Glow. It's not glow. it's not greasy, it's not oily, but you have a glow. Your skin doesn't look as dull. It looks like refreshed and hydrated. That's very true, actually. <laughs> yeah. We do have something for the lips. We do have something for oh. the lips. I have the driest lips in the world. So this is a night oil that you're supposed to put on before bed, but I, I like to wear it during the daytime too. And I like because it feels really moisturizing, but not super sticky. And the City Lips Night Oil is a really solid solution. It helps reduce the look of smoker's line, creates a noticeable plumping effect, and delivers deep hydration. Now the cool thing is this works overnight to support a youthful looking lip. It doesn't feel as sticky as like a lot of stuff. No, it's not. It's it's It definitely has a more and it oily feel. It doesn't look like super mm -mm. greasy. And again, I got extra so I can, I can use it on my hand. And another cool thing is not only do they have a 60 day money back guarantee, they also have free US shipping on orders over $50. Now if you want to save 15%, Go ahead and use that link below and then use the coupon code Justin at checkout. And now let's get back to the hair mistakes. Okay, number three is one that you've likely heard definitely online or in the media. Uh, and you may have even been told this by your stylist. Going lighter as we age. So there's a couple reasons that this gets pushed. And one of those main reasons is that you're trying to hide gray. Either we're trying to minimize the amount of gray that you see, or we're trying to minimize the grow outline from color since gray is now coming in at the roots. Now, here's the problem with that. This works really well if your skin tone and you wear the lighter hair well. But the fact of the matter is to really get this to work, we've got to go quite light. If you go just a little bit lighter, it doesn't really match the gray. Gray hair is quite light, right? So the problem could be that now you're going lighter than you might want to go. You don't feel as good in it lighter, and it still really isn't doing the job that it was supposed to do, which is to combat or minimize those grays. And so really, I think the better way to approach this is to determine what is going to function best for your skin tone. So what color functions best for your skin tone, giving it the most richness. Of those colors, what is going to make you feel the best? How are you gonna feel the most confident? And then we've kind of whittled the color range down. And from there, okay, of this, is there anything that's going to help minimize this gray or the grow out in any way? And if so, that's the direction that you head. I think you'd be much better off having the color that makes you feel great, that looks good on your skin tone, and just understanding that it's gonna grow out a little bit, but hey, it is what it is. At least you feel fantastic on the in-between time. Okay, number four is curtain bangs. Yes, <laughs> I'm not saying that all curtain bangs are bad, but doing curtain bangs without paying attention to your face shape can be a huge mistake. Now, curtain bangs have definitely become popular over the past couple of years, and they also definitely aren't losing any sort of traction right now. So I can understand the draw to them, but especially when you consider all the people that have been pushed into longer hair, like we talked about earlier. Before you move into them, you kind of need to know how they're gonna affect your face shape because it plays a huge role in how things are flattering or if they are flattering. Now you wanna be aware of this because curtain bangs require that you part your hair down the center, which means that it could be impossible to create any sort of volume on top since that's where your part line is. Now, the top being flat can also create the illusion of more volume on the sides. And if you have longer hair, this can be especially problematic as the layers were gonna be forced to be longer to keep them balanced with the overall length. This could be a lot of heaviness on the sides and end up actually creating a very triangular shape. Now, the problem with that is that this brings your eye down and ultimately doesn't accentuate anything about your face shape that you want to accentuate. Right? We want to lift the eye up, which helps to accentuate cheekbones and bone structure and lift the face. And all those things are kind of the opposite of what this could potentially do. Okay, now number five is what I would say probably is the most important of all of this list. And that is simply not paying attention to how nutrition affects your hair texture, especially through times of your life like menopause. 
Okay, this admittedly <laughs> is not the most exciting one on the list, but it is one of the most important. Now, if you haven't seen my recent video about menopause, where I actually interviewed Dr. Marie Claire Haver, a menopause expert and the author of the best-selling book, The Galveston Diet. You can check that video out right here. But she spoke a lot about the importance of certain nutrients. And as hormones can change in your body, it makes a profound effect on your hair texture, your hair shine, and density. So if you think about it, our hair grows from the scalp, not from the ends. And that means that it's a reflection of what's going on inside our bodies, as well as what we put on it externally. But what we focus on more often than not is the external stuff, not so much the internal stuff. So the fact of the matter is ignoring what we're taking into our body and how we're fueling our body and that we're getting the appropriate nutrients that our body needs to be its healthiest is a massive mistake and has a massively negative impact on how youthful your hair looks. Right, I hope all of those <laughs> made sense and I appreciate you hanging out as always. Uh, again, I wanna say a big thank you to City Beauty for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check them out. There is a link in the description. And again, use the coupon code Justin so that you can save 15%. Otherwise, you have a fantastic day, a fantastic week. I will see you ne next week. Ne next week. Yes, I'll see, I'll see you next week. Stick. Uh, go watch some other videos now. Check that video right there. Yeah, that's 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 a good one. You should watch that right now. You'll like it. You'll learn some stuff. You'll love it. It'll be a good time. You'll 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 thank me later. I promise. Do do that. See see you over there.